I'm Joanna, and I've got some shit to say. So originally we were gonna shoot a video about something completely different, but then Chris <laughs> derailed the entire process after he said the following comment. Chris, uh, say what you said. Just say. What I you said, said it in the comfort and privacy of you and I. <sighs> Fine. I said all Latin American music sounds the same to me, and that I can't tell the difference, and that it makes me hungry for chips and salsa. Though that one, I can admit, is very ignorant of me. Latin music isn't just the Macarena and mariachis. There's an insane variety of music in Latin America, and even the way that we interact and dance to each genre is completely different. Bish, you can't dance merengue like reggaeton, and you can't dance salsa like tambores. It's like eating cereal with a fork. Sure, you have a utensil in your hand, but you look like a fucking idiot. What are you doing? This is in stark contrast to what I've generally seen in dances and weddings here in the States, where everyone just pretty much freestyles a solo sway to sway at different rhythms. Oh, that's supposed to be how we do it. Or sometimes you guys go like. Yeah, I gotta get the hands up. Unless of course the song explicitly tells you what to do, like the YMCA, the cha-cha slide, the tootsie roll. Take a right, then a back now. Two hops, clap, bop it. And if Americans do decide to finally dance in a couple, they just go, they go straight to grinding. There's no foreplay. It's just like, bam, the act of sex occurs on the dance floor at a bat mitzvah. Aaron, stop. You 13, honey. So today I'm gonna to talk about the different musical styles and genres and dances in Latin America because I'm, you know, not an expert, but I do get jiggy with them. Jiggy with them, huh? Getting jiggy. So let's start with one everybody's heard of, salsa. And no, I don't mean the snack that you take to a potluck when you love your friends, but you don't love to try. Salsa symbolically represents the melting pot that is Latin America. More than a salsa, which has like simple ingredients, I feel like it's a frittata. You just put a bunch of random ingredients in there, mix it up in like an upgraded, delicious, omelet. Salsa's roots are deeply Afro-Cuban. It incorporated the Spanish guitar and then it morphed to what we know it is today with influences of other Latin American countries when it came to New York where it was influenced by jazz. I told you this was a frittata. God damn it, don't say frittata so weird. Frittata. Salsa isn't something that you can passively listen to. It's like a child going through their first car wash. They don't just sit there and hang out. What do they actually do then? No, 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 no! Now I know salsa sounds romantic and sexy and a beat, and it is, but some of the lyrics are heavy as fuck. Deep social commentary. Wait, didn't you have a problem with this with your first dance? Yes, when I got married to my Colombian husband, who's from Cali, we wanted our first dance to be a salsa, but all of our favorite songs were inappropriate. Ooh, how about Pedro Navaja by Ruben Blades? That song is about a double homicide between a serial killer and a downtrodden prostitute. Noted. What about Plastico? That song is about hedonistic materialism in Latin America's upper class and inequality. Cool. Not romantic. All right, what about La Rebelión by Joe Arroyo? We love that one. The lyrics are about the violent subjugation of black slaves in the 1600s. So Mark Anthony or? My first foray into couple dancing back home was merengue, salsa's slightly simpler cousin. Dancing salsa is complicated. It's like the obstacle course in American Ninja Warrior, okay? There's a lot of steps. But merengue is more like a Stairmaster or that fast walking in the Olympics. Mitting isn't as much about like skill and technique, it's more about just dancing close with someone you have a crush on because you're less likely to f*** it up. Da -da 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 -da. Basically, merengue is like a dancing training bra. It's literally my favorite. Es lo mejor, déjame decirte que gracias República Dominicana, yo pensaba que era venezolano, pero aparentemente es de ustedes. Bachata is the blues of Latin American music. Like every song is cry fuel that you dance to. One of the most famous bachata singers is called Romeo Santos, as in Romeo, as in the tragic story of Romeo and Juliet. Okay, you can't make this stuff up. Is that his like, real name? Actually. Sometimes we don't do research before Romeo we state Santos. facts. His name is Anthony. That dirty so liar. So you can make this shit up. <laughs> Some titles include Cuanto duele, how much it hurts. Corazón sin cara, heart without a face. El verdadero amor perdona, real love forgives. Cause your ass cheated. Mm -mm. And 
I don't know what this is exactly, but in all these songs, there's always like this this sound like whatever this instrument is, it's like bawling in the corner because it's had a fucking rough day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> it's so it's so real. You're so ignorant. I wish you got me. <laughs> you know. Meanwhile, Argentina and Uruguay's tango is like a sexy ass soundtrack to your existential crisis. It's hot. It's steamy. But also, oh my God, my life's a black abyss. I would define this genre as extra, which is probably why I know zero Argentinians who dance it. Wait, really? Argentinians like can't dance, period. What? That's why they have such good rock, I think. It's so that they can hide in their swaying and like their jumping and... <laughs> Musica Llanera or Joropo is a Venezuelan musical style. Hear that, Colombia? Venezuelan. Porque Simón Díaz y la Arepa son de nosotros, mijito. This style uses an unlikely mix of instruments. Maybe you got a guitar, maybe you got a cuatro, which is like a mini guitar, maracas, a harp. The only type of music that uses a harp is the harp. <laughs> like, that's it. This style of music is country music meets gossipy brunch with your friends after an insane night out. The lyrics are usually these juicy, complex stories that break the fourth wall and have these plot twists and sometimes there's a laugh track. What? Now let me tell you a story about what happened last night. I got drunk with Chris's lady and cheated on my wife. Actually, it wasn't with Chris's lady. It was with the harpist's wife. I drank too much rum and now I'm feeling dumb. Oh! <laughs> Someone died. Reggaeton. Okay, He's wait. Stop. Stop. I do know Despacito falls into this. And I cannot stand stop, that. Stop, stop. Now I'm going to tell you to stop. Taylor Swift is to country music. What Despacito is to reggaeton. Okay, Justin Bieber appropriated it. That shit is pop. Well, it's and garbage it's either way. Oh! Hey! We finally agree We're on something. We're agreeing on shit. Won't last. No, it won't. Reggaeton, the blend of reggae and rap is, is king now. It's like taken over. And I, I don't hate it. Like even the really dirty ones, they're just so fucking catchy. It's by far the most sexually explicit music I've ever heard. The sexual metaphors are less metaphors than they are just an instruction manual on how to bone. It makes R. Kelly's ignition sound like a poetic allegory. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. like insinuating. They're just straight up fucking telling you. They're not saying like, oh, did you forget to wash the dishes? They're like, wash the fucking dishes, bitch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I wanna fuck you, fuck you up the fuck. Okay, put cool. that to a beat. <laughs> Want to know why I think reggaeton is making like a huge splash in the states? Mm, why? Is because dancing reggaeton is just grinding. Because we can drive you guys to can it. Drive up to it. <laughs> it's just you know how to do it. There's so many others. There's tambores, bossa nova, cumbia, mariachi, bolero, samba. It's endless. And what's amazing is that there's so many influences. There's African influence, there's Spanish, there's indigenous, there's influence between countries. It's like peak melting pot. It's peak frittata. Oh, not the frittata again. Frittata! I'm starving. And it's proof that when cultures mix and feed off each other to make something, the result is pretty fucking awesome. Which is why when Chris thinks that the pinnacle of Latin music is Justin Bieber's rendition of Despacito, it makes me want to die in a tire fire just a little bit. Well, I've learned a lesson. Good. But tell me, what are the things that you love of some of the genres I've missed? I missed a lot. Tell me in the comments below. And until the next time, I'm a Joanna and I say my peace. I am Joanna and I say my peace. Hey!